Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a very slow moving energy. It looks like something is taking a long time. It's requiring a lot of patience. You could be dealing with someone who is playing the long game. This person isn't in a rush, but they are invested. So let's see. We have the Star, Aquarius Energy, the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Two of Swords in the Reverse Air Energy. Yeah, it does look like this person, they miss you. You know, with the star, they are wishing for you. They are hoping you return to them. Um, they wonder a lot about where you are and what you're doing, who you're with. It looks like this is someone with his distance. And they haven't reached out. You know, instead, they are just wishing for you, like trying to manifest you. But we're not seeing any action from this person. This is someone who feels like they don't have a right to reach out to you they feel like they have to be mature and delay the gratification here so they think about you a lot though they do see you as someone special someone who means a lot to them um, and there's a part of them that's waiting to hear from you so let's clarify these cards gemini We have the Three of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So holding out for a reunion. Um, this is someone who is expecting to reconnect with you at some point. Let's see. We have the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Five of Cups in the reverse, Water Energy. So if you and this person had some sort of fallout, it does look like you guys will mend things. You know, there's this feeling of restoration. So this connection, it's not over, but it does look like there's some sort of delay or a pause or separation. Um, but this person still holds a torch for you. You know, this person would be more than willing to give it another chance. And with the Eight of Wands, you'll get into contact with this person again. It's not clear if they would reach out or if you would, but we're seeing communication between you guys back and forth at some point. And it's like you guys are gonna hit it off it looks like you guys may have in the beginning, putting the past in the past, getting past some sort of trust issues or conflict that happened between you guys. Yeah, it does look like things are not over with this person. So I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, we have Hold Your Vision, Fixed Moon. we have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so this person has good intentions this is someone who's genuine and sincere and humble uh, it doesn't look like they would reach out though it looks like you may be the one to reach out but you will be received very well and it looks like you both actually have fond feelings towards each other okay so let's see Okay, we have new start and wisdom knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom so you will have a new beginning with this person okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice gemini Okay, 
Okay, we have surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. There could be a delay here. There's something here about someone really not forcing things, not rushing things. Okay, so I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.